Okay, well, welcome back to this wonderful moment we call practice. What a wonderful moment. No matter what is going on in life, no matter what is arising, knowing that all of it is transient, impermanent, and just being open to the changes that are about you're about to experience in your practice. And that all you need, all that you are looking for is there already. Deeply, patiently waiting. So we're going to explore that and beginning simply by opening to our own inhale, to the breath, this breath that reminds us that we are in this vibrant body that is alive. It is also strong. This body is more resilient, stronger than we might feel in any given moment, especially if there is any pain or discomfort. That is just experience that hijacks the narrative. But know that this body, if you are here and you're practicing and you're feeling your breath, there is, in the words of John Kabat-Zinn, more right with you than wrong with you. <laughs> so just breathing, breathing in, and opening, breathing out and release into this moment, into this body. So breath also has this effect of awakening the senses. And as we begin with this first cycle, what we call proprioception, this fancy word for just really being embodied in this place and time in a space. Breathing in an openness to this body and the space around it. The space inside it. What do you notice through the senses about the space around you, the sounds, the temperature of the air in the room? the smells, the temperature of the breath in the air, in through the tip of the nose, out from the tip of the nose. One of the uh, benefits to beginning with the physical body and practice is that it's very easy to feel the truth of how we're doing within this body. And the body itself can become a reflector of what we seek the mind to become. Let this body be a reflection of mind. So as you breathe and soften and let go of tension and stress, know that the mind is also doing this. This word nama rupa means mind body in the ancient Pali language. This has been around for a long time. So just taking a moment to 
go through the body and notice any places that are tight or tense. Let the breath soften those areas. It's interesting that awareness itself softens those areas simply by bringing gentle awareness to whatever is tense. It just unwinds. No need to try. And bringing to mind this spine that keeps you upright. As you breathe in, just feel the chest gently opening, the spine lifting, slightly ascending into this upright posture of presence and dignity. Breathing out, we let the body melt down around this upright spine, keeping this posture. This is also a good place to begin simply affirming that you embody neutrality or equanimity in the form of your own spine. I embody equanimity. I embody neutrality. No preference, evenness of mind. I embody this evenness, this stability. From here, perhaps opening with this as your rootedness, opening to the quality of receptivity, the second pedal, and the breath helps with this, just breathing in and breathing out. Part of this is just allowing things to be just as they are in this moment. Making the body-mind malleable, workable, flexible, as the spine keeps us stable. No aversion, no clinging, just open and receptive. I embody receptivity.
how much easier perhaps now to feel the stillness in the body. This we can sometimes feel in the hands or in the arms or in the spine, any part of you, maybe the entirety of your body is still now. Even if the process of feeling, there may be impulses and sensations, but the body is still. I embody stillness. I embody stillness. And the breath, being mindful to simply breathe as you do this. Normal rhythm, just a comfortable pace in, out. And not needing to rush to make the mind still. Just embody it for now. Let the mind be. And what we find here as this fourth petal opens, unfurls, we embody the present more easily. And that includes the space around you, the sensation of being embodied right here and now. I embody the present. Sometimes there can be a sense of relief here of simply relinquishing all the energy directed into the future or dragged along from the past. And in this moment, we can simply remember to be effortless. The fifth petal. Fully present. I embody effortlessness. this body of simplicity. At the heart of this simplicity, this effortless presence, take a moment and just attune as if you were listening 
with your inner sense to the brightness of your own awareness. Feeling the body, luminous mind. I embody luminosity. This is very much like the Nirmanakaya, the body, the form body of an enlightened being, of a Buddha. And it makes sense since Buddha nature is also part of this body. And feeling this body to be permeable, to no longer be necessarily a fixed form. Perhaps feeling this body is spacious. I embody spaciousness. like a bright, vast, open sky. This body mirrors the clarity of that spaciousness. I embody clarity. and the heart of that clarity. Love. The warmth of unconditional love, of compassion. This body is an expression of love. If only we knew this more fully, but we can now. This is what clarity allows for. I embody love.
Remembering the breath in, breath out. And then the tenth petal. Embodying awakening. I embody awakening. Take a deep inhale into this wakeful body. A full out breath. And experiencing now yourself as neutral once again. as equanimity. We're not starting over, but rather we are at a different place on the spiral. So having a sense of what it means for the mind, for you, in quotes, to be neutral, in a more refined way. I am neutral or I am equanimous. Perhaps here we are also attuning to these qualities as being already there. Beginning with the body, we have sort of opened to them. And there's a part of us recognizing that this is me. I am receptive. I am receptive. Continuing the breath, we always want a little bit of attention just to keep the breath flowing easily in and out. Even though now we return to this third pedal, I am still. I am still. In this stillness, I am present. fully present.
and also noticing that when we are present, we can open more fully to being effortless. I am effortless. This gentler quality of mind, no striving, no seeking, no expectation, just effortless abiding. in that the absence of effort, we can settle even more into a refinement where mind becomes more bright. Awareness is radiant. I am luminous. In fact, the Buddha himself said in Anguttara Nikaya, luminous is this mind brilliantly shining. And it is free. Radiant mind, I am radiant, luminous. like a bright, clear morning sky. I am spacious. I am clear. I am loving. might also be, I am love, or I am compassion. I am loving. And if you like, you can join luminosity, speciousness, clarity, and loving all into one experience of mind. I am awake. I am awake.
Breathe in. Deep knowing. Breathe out. A settling into. And now we're going to go through the third cycle. And it will be very minimal in terms of guidance. I'm simply going to name each quality without a sense of identification or I-ness. This quality, these qualities that are more than just the personal, but they are the universal form, the unitive, just becoming that. Neutrality, equanimity. Receptivity. Stillness. Present. Effortless. Luminous. Spacious. Clarity.
loving. Awake. So taking a few final moments of breathing in that wakefulness that is universal. Especially with all these other qualities opening the door to wakefulness. We're going to just finish this practice simply by coming back into the body. Whenever you're ready, there's no need to rush. Breathing deeply, fully around breath down into the seat and out into the lower back. We can come back into this proprioception, this body in this place and time, and maybe feel different than when we began. So when the bell rings, we'll just come back. Mm-hmm.